once. I got another Phantom Fury here. Um, I only have two. My Tanamp in this model. I have a, and the other two that I've had um, in my collection have been gone for quite some time. Um, so this is the 12 amp model, and I'm not too sure when this model was around. Um, but anyways, it's in good shape cosmetically. Um, this one, I think one of my new old stock brush rolls is installed in this one. Yeah, it is. This is one of the new ones. You can see it's got that white little crayon marker they always put on their brush rolls. Um, again, just like my 10 amp model, which I always think they, they kind of sound the same. Um, I just find these not as easy to use as a thunder and push. Um, like I said in my other video, I just feel like there's something that's dragging and if you look at the base plate eye level, if you put this thing on a counter, you can kind of see how it would drag on the carpet. Um, <clears throat> and like I've also shared, even on the lowest setting, I don't feel like it goes low enough. Um, and there was one other thing I was just thinking of that I was going to say about this. I don't know, it'll come to me, I guess. Um, oh, I know what it was. Um, huge design flaw. When you put this in the upright position, it doesn't, it pops the wheels up so the nozzle is not completely on the ground, but it's not high enough. Um, even on a lower pile carpet than this, you can tell that it's uh, still touching the ground if you got it in the above floor mode. Because when you go to move it, you can see where the brush has just been spinning on the carpet. So after my first one, I caught on to that. And, you know, whenever I use it with the, the wand, I make sure that I kind of hold on to this and tilt it back a little bit or just have it on a bare floor. So... I noticed that with all of them, and I'm surprised as they kept going along, they never addressed it, but being Phantom, I'm also surprised that, I'm not surprised that they didn't uh, address that. So, I mean, after all, the company is no longer in business for many reasons other than the Dyson infringement, and that's just a whole other conversation that I just don't even feel like touching. I'm sure it's just an argument with everyone, so. Um, anyways, I'll show this in action. Um, and, yeah, there's not much else to say. It's in, like I said, it's in really good shape cosmetically. Um, and obviously, I got a new HEPA filter, old stock, and the cardboard tube, or the cardboard sleeve from Phantom, so, um, yeah, and this one sounds good too, so, turn it on and show you in action. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention, it makes this, that annoying whistling noise, and it's from down here where this top body, body, I don't even know what I'm talking about body meets this lower section, there's a little gap there that when I took my 10 amp one apart, I uh, noticed they put like this thin piece of tape in it. This model, it must have degraded, so it makes that whistling noise. So if I tap it and a little bit, it kind of stops, but it's uh, pretty annoying to say the least. <laughs>
it's kind of hard one-handed, but um, usually I can wham it with my fist a couple of times and it stops. It's just a matter of taking it apart, and I just simply don't have the time nor desire to do it. So, I mean, even though I'm on vacation, uh, I just have other things that I'd rather do than take this apart. Um, so. You can see with the new brush roller, it does a little bit better of a job. Um, still, it's not as easy to push as my thunder. Um, and uh, the only good thing about these is that they obviously have a lower profile. Um, so you can get under things a little bit better. Not too much further than a thunder, but, you know, under a chair. Um, a little bit further than you could with a thunder so it's too bad that they didn't kind of uh, I think if they redid this for this profile and um, just kind of reconfigured the nozzle I think it would be a good balance between the thunder and the fury like just take a little bit of both machines is, I guess what I'm getting at um, but that's just not going to happen, even though there's supposedly some kid that's uh, looking to start up the Phantom Company again. Um, who knows? So, um, Anyways, um, enough babbling on here. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day.